hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for today i'm sure you guys how i create this beautiful amazing look like it's given and i have hooded eyes i wish i could do this on somebody else that doesn't have hooded eyes which i could but i'm basically giving you guys a kiss here because i love you guys so much welcome back to my channel for new subscribers thank you for all subscribers i love you for coming back always i appreciate the comments and the likes you guys have been giving me lately i love you guys so much without further ado let's just go right into it i use my primer and now i'm going in with my but this my sasha buttercup powder i'm trying to set my face first before going in over my foundation i learned this from a, a popular youtuber here on youtube her name is jackie Aina. i hope i'm pronouncing that all right but i learned this from her and basically i'm going in my brows i'm not going to talk about too much of the product that i'm using in this video because this video is basically you guys trying to get to know me i'm going with my concealer right now but i'm just going to go dive right into talking about me my name is if you don't know my name is stephanie from anatogo i'm from anambra state i'm married to a dirtastic man and we married in the year 2020 probably for my marriage i was a, um I was doing YouTube and I also was a business lady like I saw makeup and and you know I I used to work but then I resigned because my job was taking away too much of my time and my business led me more my business was growing and I couldn't mix the both of them anymore so then COVID-19 happened and then it hit my business real hard it wasn't easy for me to do my business anymore and you know so many things happened within that COVID-19 period uh, personally right now I don't feel like I'm ready to share which I think everybody should you know share whatever they want to share at their own pace so I, I'm not ready to share that yet but so many things happened at 2019 and it was just crazy and um, 2020 was crazy and I got married in 2020 and yeah I had a baby in the year 2021 I'm blending in my foundation and guy do I love this foundation color me the match is perfect though so back to me talking about me I had this um I have this beautiful amazing daughter in year 2021 and you know I had postpartum depression I was scared of putting myself back out there in the world assessing myself as a big loser and you know I was just basically scared like i felt like anything i do i would fail at it it was a fear the fear was there and it was overwhelming and you know being married i'm going with my counselor right now because <laughs> i won't take a pause before talking about this this is me going with my counselor and i'll blend that right out very well being married i got scared I don't know how many people this has happened to but i just feel like i should talk about this one because i think i'm ready to open up about it about this particular part is that after getting married if i literally on my traditional marriage day i felt scared i felt like i was giving up my freedom i felt like marriage was being trapped that was my concept about marriage like that that wasn't really my concept power before or maybe it was and I just did not know but from the day of my wedding I just felt like I was being trapped and it's not something my husband did because boy is he amazing like he has been very supportive in everything I do it's just I just felt trapped I felt like I was not gonna be free to do whatever I want to do not like I really want to do anything like go crazy but I just felt like I can't say anything without him wanting to feel that what I want to say and it's not like he made me feel that way it was just all in my head i was telling myself that i'm baking by the way with my sasha butako um, powder i'm i'm just setting in that because now i'm trying to just bake so that the fallout from my shadows will be cut on that extra excess powder and i can go on right now i'm trying to go in with this um color from my blue zone 33 color 35 color um palette so you could basically see the eye look i'm going for a very um not really warm for like 
like a pop pop like a pink pop look with um an orange cut crease which you saw at the end like i went in with that orange at first and i'm going in with like a very nice dark shade of pink and i'm going to go over that with like um but i'm going to go over back with that um orange um yellow shade I mixed a little bit of orange and yellow to just blend out the edges so it doesn't look too harsh like I'm doing right now and you could see it's already softening it up and then I'm going to cut my crease I'll do a little bit of um, purple wing liner at the outer end so you guys would see me do that then cut my crease and go over with a matte yellow um orange shade sorry to say and basically back to the story I felt trapped I felt like I wouldn't be me you know, I wouldn't say things that I want to say. I wouldn't be free. But it took me literally time and having a supportive partner to figure out that he wasn't really the one trapping me. I was trapping me in my own body. I think we had this conversation one day. I was literally in the kitchen. I think I was cooking. And I was telling him that, oh, I want to do this. Like, it's not like there are things that I actually want to do. I just, I would tell him, oh, I want to do this. Just to hear it, what he would say. And he'd be like, okay, go, go do you, girl. And I'm like, you're okay with that? And he's like, yes. Mm -hmm. and I told him, oh, I want to go back to doing my YouTube again. And he's like, do you? And in my head, I was like, I didn't know he would be okay with that. Because I thought he would want me to get a traditional job and the rest. And I'm like, wow. And I'm like, okay, I want to go back to doing business. It's like, okay. And I'm like, like, you're going to just go ahead with everything I say. And he's like, yes. Why won't I support you? He literally said, babe, I think you have a phobia for marriage because you think I would stop you. But I'm not stopping you. You're stopping yourself. And I feel like that's something most ladies do. We stop ourselves. And then the next thing is we start to self-destruct. And then once we start self-destructing, we get to affect the person that's right beside us. We blame it on the men sometimes. I'm not saying that sometimes men are not bad. But in my situation, my husband was not the issue. It was me. I was constantly thinking that, you know, I don't want this to go wrong. And I don't want to say, I don't want to be trapped. I want to be free. Like, I literally would tell him, I don't want to do this. And he'll be like, okay, fine. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You don't have to do it, baby. And, you know, I think one of my friends had her birthday party. Sorry, I was talking a lot in this video, but because this was literally the same thing that I was saying, like, in between. Now I'm going with, like, a dark purple shade to, you know, make that um, crease pop out more. That's what I'm doing there. If you could see the difference. So, one of my best friends, shout out to you, Faith. She had a um, house party she invited me and i actually thought my husband wouldn't let me go because you know it's a party and i was the i was literally i think me and her neighbor was literally the only married people there and i didn't want him to feel you know i just felt like oh maybe he'll feel insecure maybe he'll think that ah, why would she want to go out with you know because see yeah, child let me just say it's just it's not always that easy to just get a trust like that but then he let me go he gave me the car and he was like oh just be fine go do you have fun just make sure that you know the baby's fine because he doesn't like being at home alone with her now i'm going on to my crest <laughs> he doesn't like being alone with her so he said i should just make sure she's fine in the sense that i should take her to my mom's place so that they would take proper care of her and yeah i did that and after that he just, you know, he only called me when I got there. I was like, are you there safe? And I'm like, yes, I'm, I just got in here. It's okay. And he went offline. I went to bed like nothing happened. Like my husband literally, I left the house by, let's say, around seven. And he slept off by nine. And I was even the one trying to call him to be in touch, you know. So I let him know, oh, I'm good. And nothing is happening. I want to call him video call back to back. But he slept off. The next one he called me I'm like oh you were calling away are you okay and i'm like i'm good i just i thought you'd be awake turns out all these things all the demons i've been fighting it's in my head and i just basically me sharing my story is not to tell you guys that you know I'm, right now i'm contouring my face sorry by the way i'm going with my contour my blush and highlights you know to you know 
define the face completely if you want me to talk about this look detailed you can just drop a comment on the dm i could talk about it and do maybe just the eye look so you know because my my facial routine is still the same thing but you know if you want me to do a more detailed talk about the eye look i can do that later but basically i'm just trying to say that i feel like sometimes in some situations we tend to misinterpret things. You should sometimes take a back seat and look at it from another perspective. And, you know, I feel like in marriage, you should be a little bit open with your person. I know, I know to say, um, don't, don't, don't be too open to see finish. Yeah, that's what we say in Nigeria. To see finish, no go enter. Sorry, me, that's me using <laughs> breaking, but like, they'll tell you that be careful, so see finish. So the man would not, you know, know you all. But sometimes knowing you all is good. Like he gets to know you all and trust you blindly. My husband believes that I could go out and not do anything. And because of the kind of like say faith and belief and trust he has in me, it makes me not even think about it. Like I could see a guy that's looking good, I'd be like, Ooh, but you look good, but I wouldn't think about it. You know, we, we we would be on the road, the kind of foundation me and my husband has come to, you know, achieve is that we could be on the road and I could see a fine girl and I could be like, oh boy, that girl's ass is fine. And we would laugh about it. And he'd be like, wait, where's the ass? And we'd look at them and we'd laugh. And I won't make a big fuss about it. And it has, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I have mastered the course of relationship or marriage. I have not, but like, listening and trying to at least make myself happy not thinking that it has to be him has made me happier in the marriage than when we started because when we started i was even if we did it for four years i changed i got depressed i got sad so me figuring out that the marriage wasn't supposed to make me happy he it's not supposed to make me happy. I'm supposed to be happy first. It just changed a lot. I'm supposed to be sure about myself first. It, it changed a lot about the marriage and it made me more confident in myself. And I know this doesn't, you guys didn't ask for this explanation, but I just feel like I had to share it. So I hope it helps somebody that's feeling the kind of way the way I felt that beginning period because I'm at, I'm at a more better place. And the more I grow, the more you guys are going to see it. So I just hope it helps you guys feel better. I love you guys so much. And, you know, thank you for doing this look with me. Like, this look is so beautiful, guys. Too bad I didn't get to go anywhere. Because I never really go anywhere. Oh, oh you're fine. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for always subscribing. And don't forget to give me thumbs up and like. And watch the video to the end. I love you guys.